So yesterday we talked about uh, a simple hello world program here and there's a couple things that we want to talk about today. So the first thing that we want to talk about is how do we kind of recover from having errors, okay? And really you're just starting out so the, the thing that you want to think about is just like looking at what I have, looking at what you have, and finding the difference, okay? So, but let's go ahead and say that like we made some errors here, okay? Um, so, what we see over here are some red X's, okay? And what those represent are what we call syntax errors. So syntax errors are things that either you misspelled something or you forgot a symbol or you put something where it doesn't belong. Okay? So what we can do is we can look at that. And unfortunately, this is really small, so you guys are having a hard time seeing that. But if you did the same thing on your computer, you could read it on yours. So this says syntax error on token pubic public expected okay so it tries to tell you what you did wrong okay it's saying public was expected so then we look at this and say oh yeah that's silly i meant public okay and then that error goes away down here okay this is telling us syntax error on token something misplaced construct okay kind of hard to figure out what's going on there all right but again if we see what someone else has or someone that does it you know something that looks right and then we look at this and it's like well this all this stuff is wrong what is wrong in this line okay and then hopefully after looking at what i give you right you can look at this and say oh we're missing just this parent or parenthesis at the end and then that error goes away okay right here syntax error insert semicolon to complete block statement okay so block statement is another name for an instruction and basically what it's saying is hey you wrote this instruction or this statement but you didn't put a semicolon at the end of it and so that's an error okay and then this one down here, syntax error, insert brace to complete class body. Well, if I look at this, I'm thinking to myself, this is the brace that's the end of my hello world class. So that should be, it's, it's where it wants to be, right? Yesterday, remember I showed you that um, if we double click on one of these, or right to the right of one of these, that it shows us all the stuff that's in there, okay? That's in that main method, all right? And this is saying all of this stuff, even up to there, is, at, is inside of there. So sometimes when we make an error, the error doesn't show up exactly where the real error is. So this one is actually a problem that we don't have a brace right there. Does that make sense? Okay, and so if I insert the brace right there, then that error goes away, okay? Another mistake that you guys will make is you'll take code that like this right here and you'll have it kind of floating in the class but not inside of, sorry about that, floating inside the class but not inside of a method, <clears throat> okay? And so for right now, all of the instructions that we write or all of the statements that we write have to be within the main method, okay? So when we get something like this, this is going to say, there's a bunch of errors. Multiple markers at this line. Syntax error, syntax error, syntax error, syntax error. So four different things that things are wrong with this. Okay? And really the problem is, is that it's just floating out in space and it needs to be put back where it belongs. Which was up here. Alright? So just a real quick, you know, discussion of what errors are. Uh, there are other kinds of errors, but right now the most frustrating thing that you're going to deal with is syntax errors, where you just, you know, you forget a symbol or something like that, okay?